Hello, I'm Ralph Cabbage, Aquaman Knox. Today we're going to look at the Awasa Universal Aquarius Pump used for fountains. Show you what's in the box and show you all the specs for the ring. The Awasa Universal uh, Aquarius Pump, as they call it, is designed to be used for statuary or anywhere you want bottom suction, um, specifically. So it's designed to have a shorter profile, it's, they're a little bit wider, and all the models pull off of the bottom. Uh, they're different from their uh, fountain pumps, and then they can be used in line. In the box, you're going to come with, of course, the pump. The pump's going to have the additional grounding plate that um, Awasa is known for for safety, a long cord. Um, this uses the slightly larger plug, not the skinny plug like the other fountain cords. Um, it has male threads. Um, when you pull it apart, it has a O-ring instead of the little clicks. This has an O-ring, very smooth adjustable flow, and you can see all that grid work. That's designed, as it sits on the bottom, the pump can pull really low. You have two fittings that are multi-tapped so they can be used for a huge range of tubing that you could slide uh, over those barbs. You've got one and it has an o-ring seal. You have one for the outlet and then when you pop off the front cover if you want to use it in line and some of the statuary even have to be plumbed in line but even if you want to use it external in line you can do it just like that. Front covers of these are easily removed with a twist and you get access to what is a truly unique little impeller. So if you look at that impeller, it's flexible, very unique and it's flexible, designed to push debris through it and uh, not get broken and it's a totally unique design you probably haven't seen before. Uh, in a pump of this size. I think it's really interesting and I've been happy with the performance of the pump, especially uh, in the, again, those shallow water applications. And the models that are available are as follows. You have 80 gallons per hour, 180 gallons per hour, 370 gallons per hour, 800 gallons per hour, and 1400 gallons per hour. The smallest pumps only two by two by two inches in size and the largest one is seven by three by five. So they're very nice footprint. They're energy efficient. They're ranging from the smallest four to the 180, eight, then 370, 22 watts, 860 watts, and only 80 watts for 1400 gallons per hour. They're designed for continuous use. They can be used in shallow water and they're designed for that. So perfect for some of those shallow running fountains or anywhere you have shallow running water or worried about it in a, in a sump. High performance, minimal space requirements, flat priming for use in low water levels. So what that impeller helps you do is get more of a swoop and it'll allow the, the pump to actually um, pull and, and start itself a little more easily than some of the uh, other pumps. Easily tuned flow control. Compact design, as we said, inline capable, so it can be used inline, and um, that covers the range of universal uh, Aquarius pumps. I think you'll be happy with these. Box packaging, of course, is very nice. Uh, my performance numbers on these, um, when we test it, again, it's quiet compared to uh, garden pumps, not as quiet as your DC pumps on the market, but the features that this has in it, there aren't any pumps like it. Uh, none are designed this way. And I think you're going to be happy with this. If you have a fountain, that's who I would look, look at, a fountain or a water feature for a garden where you need to pull low and you know it runs low and you don't have to worry about the pump uh, in those shallow water applications. Or if you have a system that doesn't prime as easily on its own, this pump will do it for you. I'm Ralph Cabbage, Aquaman Knox. Be sure and follow me. I'll have links down below. Subscribe to my channel. Have a great day.